Yeah, Philip, actually, this is where the pursuit began about 1.45 this morning. Now, according to police, the suspect has been identified as 28-year-old Ethan Rutland. He apparently jumped into a police cruiser and took off, leading police on a bizarre chase that led from Hollywood all the way to Woodland Hills. <laughs> LAPD officers in pursuit of one of their own vehicles, stolen by a man possibly under the influence of narcotics, creating a potentially dangerous situation. Our vehicles are, are heavy vehicles. They're, they're, they've got weaponry inside of them. This was a very serious situation. The general public doesn't know that this emergency response vehicle is not being driven by a first responder. The suspect was taken into custody, but not before he took the cruiser on a joyride from Hollywood to Woodland Hills. The police cruiser was stolen around 1.45 a.m. near Hollywood and Ivar. Two officers jumped out of the vehicle to pursue a suspect wanted for vandalism, leaving the keys inside. Normally we'd exit our vehicle and we'd obviously lock and secure it. This was a quickly evolving situation. The officers will be interviewed and, and have to explain what happened. The thief led police on a chase reaching speeds of 65 miles per hour. He was driving erratically and even got on the 101 freeway at one point where spike strips were deployed. The suspect crashed into a curb on DeSoto and Ventura in Woodland Hills and was arrested without incident. Police say they are thankful no one was injured. Rarely we'll see people that would be brazen enough to, whether a emergency response vehicle is left running or not, actually enter that vehicle and then leave in it. Now, police say that there were weapons inside the police cruiser. They were locked, and it does not appear that Ethan Rutland tried to access those weapons. All of those weapons have been accounted for, and police say Rutland is held on $55,000 bail.